I'm Luis Serrano, I'm the director and researcher of the Center for Genomic Regulation in Barcelona, working on synthetic biology. In synthetic biology is a blooming field. We have seen in the last years an amazing number of uh, groups working on engineering the living systems for, the, for human therapy. I mean, the main challenges that we foresee is first how to avoid the pathogenicity of the bacteria you are going to use or of the cell you are going to use for therapy, how to avoid uh, activating the immune system, and how to ensure that you will deliver enough product at the right place at the right time and afterwards eliminate the bacteria or the living cell you have engineered. I mean, the, the, the use of, uh, say, the engineering of, of living uh, cells or living organisms for, for uh, practical applications, of course, is, is I say, is, it has opened incredible opportunities in, uh, for human health, but of course there are all these ethical issues about uh, safety, about uh, controlling the modified organism, about preventing its release in the environment, etc. And this is uh, something that is being discussed by the, by the community. Uh, and of course, what people is try to ensure that we have safety mechanisms to kill the organism if needed, to prevent its release in the environment, etc. And as I say, there are many forums working on this topic, which is important, of course, uh, to have alleviate or to ensure that the public don't get scared about it. Communicating what we are doing in science to the public is, is really important. I mean, we need to explain what we do, what is the purpose behind it, and what is the benefit for the people. But we need to be very careful how we explain things. For example, synthetic biology, we should start explaining to the public that this has been done by mankind since we started with agriculture. I mean, not of the plants we are eating today are the plants that live are living in the wild. They were engineered by serendipity, but it was synthetic biology. So we should start that this is not new. This is something that people, have, mankind, have been doing for many millennia. And what is changing now is that instead of doing it by chance, we are doing it uh, by design. But again, we need to explain the opportunities, and of course we need to explain the problems as well, because we cannot hide them from the public. It's important that the public is aware of the good and the bad things of any technology. And of course, international collaboration is important not only for synthetic biology, it's important for any branch of science. I mean, publishing, opening your data to other scientists, allowing them to use it, etc., while at the same time keeping a certain balance, because of course we have as a mission in, in, in research not only to advance science, but to produce uh, companies and to increase uh, economy. But uh, keeping this balance, I think, is, is fundamental to open your data to the other scientists. This is the only way science progresses. And synthetic biology is a very interdisciplinary field. We need people doing computer biology, we need bioinformaticians, we need cell biologists, we need many different people working together. And, not a single group has all the expertise to do this.